Hello there and welcome to the Star Wars Showcase YouTube channel. Today we've got a new action figure review of the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader, and specifically the Duel's End variant that was just recently released through Target. Let's take a look. So first and foremost, I am a sucker. I told myself I was only going to buy the 40th anniversary, the Return of the Jedi Vader with the removable helmet. I didn't need any more Darth Vaders, but then I saw all the pictures of people fighting this guy and the detail that was in on the helmet, and I totally caved. And so when you get this guy in hand, it pains me to say it, but it's totally worth it as this figure is absolutely awesome. Our main distinguishing feature here is this, of course, is just a very ordinary looking Darth Vader with the exception of that helmet. Uh, they have done a fantastic job, not only with the damage, kind of the big lightsaber slash going through. The plastic is not sharp, but it certainly has a jagged look and feel to it. And poking through there is a very nice likeness to Hayden Christensen, kind of that burned and scarred Anakin Skywalker look. Darth here has got some extra damage to uh, his voice box. He's got some tears uh, and some different kind of, of weathering done to his cape here. And so, like all of our Darths, this cape is absolutely huge, but we have some nice, unique detail to this. And I almost think they could have leaned in a little bit heavier on some more damage there, but I think things look nice the way that they've done it here. And so, this is, in essence, a very simple Darth Vader who just looks like he's gotten the crap kicked out of him like he did in Kenobi, and I think it came together really, really well. So I'm a big fan of this figure, the lightsaber and the gripping hand, as well as kind of that fist you can get with the other posed hand at the same time look really, really nice. Uh, Darth also has some good articulation in his legs, as much as you can really get for a figure that has a little bit more bulk to him. And one of my favorite poses that you're able to achieve with this uh, is actually kind of in a, a kneeling kind of position in this very kind of sad and defeated look where he's, you know, talking back to Obi-Wan and almost kind of taunting him even though he's just been defeated. This, all in all, uh, is, uh, I think, a hit-or-miss figure for a lot of people, is there's not a lot of changes from a conventional Darth Vader, but if you are a fan of Kenobi, or if you're just looking for what is, in essence, a quality-made action figure, I definitely recommend picking this one up, as I'm a big fan, uh, and he's already got a pretty good place on my shelf in this pose right here. So, let me know down in the comments below if you are likewise a fan of this release, if you think it's, ah, uh, it's unnecessary. I've already got a Darth. Uh, or if you think that there's others who, you know, surpass this in terms of quality, would love to hear everyone's thoughts down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to check out some of the other content up on the channel as we have other quick reviews of Black Series action figures, as well as tips and tricks for making action figures of your own. So check it out.